maybe it's because I have an outrageous fear of the deep sea, but when it comes to haunted or cursed locations, I can't imagine one I would be more terrified to visit than a shipwreck. Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I am your host Kennedy, and today we are taking a little trip into the depths of the ocean to talk about haunted places you should stay as far away from as you can. So grab your scuba gear and get ready because these are the top 10 cursed shipwrecks that should never be explored. Starting us off in the number 10 spot is the USS Saratoga. Built in the late 1920s, this ship fought its fair share of World War II battles, but after 20 years of service, it finally met its demise during nuclear weapon testing at Bikini Atoll. The ship was able to hold up to the first round of firing, but the second test named Test Baker, an underwater blast which was detonated, and the force of the explosion lifted the vessel out of the water before it crashed down into the sea where it remains to this day. Ever since, the submerged wreck has become a scuba diving destination as it's not terribly deep beneath the surface, but even so, it is not for the faint of heart. Some divers that have visited claim to feel an evil presence when they're near the ship, and some even claim to have been grabbed by an unseen force while they were trying to make it back up to the surface. So on the off chance, if you do decide to take a dive, don't say I didn't warn you. Coming in at number 9, the oldest recorded wreckage. When it comes to cursed and terrifying things, usually the older it is, the creepier. And I have to say that this ship is no exception. So the world's oldest known shipwreck has been discovered sitting at the bottom of the Black Sea. And it's estimated that the ship has been in the same spot for roughly 2,400 years, which is wild. Now, I think that the creepiest part of all of this is that we have no real backstory about how this ship ended up here. What happened in its final moments before it sank to the bottom of the ocean, or how many people went down with it. So while we may never know exactly what went down all those years ago, one thing we do know is that there is a dark and sinister energy surrounding the ship that should not be messed with. You never know what kind of ancient curse could accidentally be uncovered if you aren't careful. Coming in at our number 8 spot, the SS Valencia. On January 22nd, 1906, the Valencia was en route from San Francisco to Seattle when suddenly it snagged on a submerged reef on the southwest coast of Vancouver Island. Tragically, many of the rescuers were thwarted by the jagged, uncharted rocks and fierce storm, and many lifeboats capsized in the rolling waters. So for the next 36 hours, passengers clung to the deck while rescuers attempted to get them to safety, until a giant wave swept 90 99 out of the 137 passengers out to sea in a disastrous shock. Ever since the tragic incident, reports of strange occurrences, including ghostly apparitions and eerie sounds, have been linked to the cursed shipwreck. But most disturbing are the claims from sailors on the west coast of Vancouver Island who've reported seeing a phantom ship floundering in the waves. And it's said that while its terrified passengers and crew appear still holding on for dear life, screaming out for help, they are just waiting for anyone to pass by so they can drag you down with them. Next up in our number 7 spot the Titanic. I think it's a pretty safe bet to say that there isn't a more famous shipwreck than the Titanic. But just because we all know about it doesn't make it any safer to visit, as has been made abundantly clear the last few days. Plus, whether you believe in ghosts or not, when nearly 1,500 people lose their lives, it should be no surprise that it's considered an incredibly cursed location. According to those who have visited the surface since the fateful day, strange sights such as odd glowing orbs of light can be seen floating around at night, and many believe they are actually the spirits of those who died at sea. But that's not all. Deep sea vessels that have explored the area further report receiving eerie, faint SOS calls that fade in and out, and seem to have no traceable source. Could they be the ghosts of the fallen calling out for help? Many believe so. However, the most terrifying curse of all has to do with an old legend that says if you aren't careful, the lonely ghosts in the sea may just pull you overboard to live the rest of eternity with them. Coming in at number 6, 
the SS Andrea Doria. Sometimes referred to as the Mount Everest of scuba diving due to its location 180 feet under the waves, this ship became famous after a terrifying accident that led to her sinking almost 70 years ago. The fateful day was July 25th, 1956, and the Andrea Doria, a luxury transatlantic ocean liner, was about to reach the coast of Nantucket when it accidentally collided with an incoming ship. Upon impact, the ship began to tilt severely and many lifeboats were left unusable. However, thankfully, many of its passengers were rescued and brought to safety. But not all of them. The incident made major headlines at the time, mostly as a success story, but to this day there are still many who claim the shipwreck is cursed by the 47 passengers who never made it out alive. Those that have passed by report feeling the sensation of being touched or yanked by an unseen entity, and some sailors even claim to have seen full on apparitions of the dead floating around the area. Next up at number 5, St. Peter. It was in October of 1898 when the vessel of St. Peter was attacked by a storm on Lake Ontario while delivering coal from Oswego to Toledo. The crew attempted to brave the storm for 12 hours in the face of 20 foot waves, but sadly they were no match for the treacherous conditions. And by the time rescuers arrived, all seven crew members along with the captain's wife had drowned at sea. Tragically, the only person left standing was the captain himself. Today it is said that the spirits of the drowned sailors haunt the area, terrifying anyone who passes nearby. But it's the ghost of the captain's wife Martha who you really want to make sure you stay away from, as it's said that one look into her eyes will curse you for the rest of eternity. Coming in at number 4, The Flying Dutchman. So before I get into this next one, I have to be honest and say that this is more of a legend than an actual confirmed shipwreck, but it's terrifying nonetheless. and. Who's to say it can't be real? First noted in the late 18th century, the first accounts of the legend of the Flying Dutchman describe the apparition in connection with the crew of a Dutch ship lost off the Cape of Good Hope in a storm, perhaps as punishment for some kind of horrible crime. But as time went on, sightings continued. King George V described seeing a ship glowing with a strange red light off the coast of Australia in 1881. Then in March of 1939, about a dozen people claimed to see the vessel off the coast of South Africa. And during World War II, German Admiral Karl Donitz said that members of the crew of one of his U-boats had seen the Dutchman while patrolling off Cape Town. But what exactly were the terrifying sightings you ask? Well, some reports mention a crew of skeletons dancing in the rigging, while others warn that the ship has the ability to lure other vessels into the rocks as supposedly the captain is jealous of other ships who might past the cape and will do everything in his power to prevent them by ensuring their death in a storm. Coming in at number 3, RMS Roan. Reportedly one of the most haunted wrecks in history, the tales about the RMS Roan are about as disturbing as you can imagine. In October of 1867, while traveling through the Caribbean, the captain saw an unexpected storm ahead. Now initially, he was not concerned as it was well past hurricane season and he even accepted passengers from a another smaller ship to be transferred as the Rhone was regarded as unsinkable. But of course, the story doesn't stop there. The skies became grey and the storm hit the ship, but it wasn't until the clouds cleared that the captain realized how wrong he had been. He was in the eye of the hurricane. In an effort to keep the now hysterical passengers safe, he ordered they be tied to their bunks. But as it turns out, he couldn't have made a worse decision. Soon a giant wave came crashing over the ship, sending it flying for the rocks and allowing seawater to to rush in and fill the hot boiler room. The result was a massive explosion that ripped the ship in two. And since nearly all the passengers were tied down, the incident cost an estimated 250 people their lives. These days, those that have visited the area complain of frightening moans and groans coming from the wreck, and some divers claim that they've been grabbed by something only to turn around and there be nothing near them in sight. Coming in at number two, the SS Emperor. The SS Emperor was the largest ever Canadian built ship at the time of her launching in 1910. But 
from the time of her launch, the Emperor suffered from bad luck, which remained the case until its eventual sinking in 1947. On its last day, the Emperor left Thunder Bay with a cargo of iron ore, and the captain gave control of the ship to his first mate, who had overseen loading the ship earlier that day. Now, Some say it was fatigue of being overworked, while others claim there was some kind evil spirit afoot already, but the ship ran aground at around 4 in the morning and sank within 30 minutes, killing 12 people, including the captain and the first mate. Ever since, divers claim to have seen evil spirits like the ghosts of the Emperor's perished crew members still at work. Some have even reported hearing the voices chant, Die, 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 as they chase you back to the surface. And last up in our number one spot, the Alchemos. Once a Greek owned merchant ship that became stranded along the western Australian coast, the Alchemos wreck has long been revered as a spooky and even even cursed location. Reports include apparitions of a small dog in the engine room, footsteps on ladders when no one's there, a human figure in rubber boots nicknamed Harry, and Morse key clatters in the unoccupied radio room. But those are a far cry from the real dangers it holds. One curse has to do with the legend that the welders were sealed between the hulls of the ship when it was still under construction, and that their angry, vengeful spirits haunt the wreck seeking out revenge. But the scariest spirit is the mysterious crew member who killed a radio operator on board before taking his own life. It said his full apparition can be seen wandering around the wreck, and legend has it that anyone who gets too close to the ship will be possessed by his evil spirit and forced to commit the same crime that sent him to his death. So unless you have an exorcist on speed dial, then this is probably not the place for you. Well, that's all I got for you today, friends. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and let me know down below what kind of scary or cursed locations we should do next. I'll see you next time.